Good morning and happy Monday. I'm just getting ready for work. I'll show you what I'm wearing after I finish my face. Nothing super exciting though. I just put on a bunch of skincare right now, so I'm just letting my um, sunscreen sink into my skin. I'm still using the Clarins one. I used to buy the Clarins sunscreen because it was really lightweight. I like how fluid it looks, but what I forgot is it takes forever to absorb into the skin. So I probably won't repurchase that one. So for skincare today, I actually use the Squalin uh, oil for the first time this morning. So I did the niacinamide and then the Squalin and then the SPF. And then I just put a bit of the caffeine solution under my eyes. So I'm going to see how it wears. So I normally don't wear oils during the day, um, but I mix the niacinamide and the squalin together to hopefully make it a little bit less oily on the skin. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to try out the new high adherence silicone primer that I picked up. So this is the high spreadability one that you guys know I love and I'm almost down to the very bottom of it. But like I said, it's really hard to get product like once you're down to the very bottom. I like the consistency of that one because it feels um, really nice but this one is going to be a little bit better for my combo skin. So while I let that dry, I will just um, talk you through some of the products that I'm gonna be using. I desperately wanna use this up, so I don't know if I should use this as maybe like a base. It doesn't really do anything, like it doesn't offer any coverage, but I wanna use this up. This is the Ambient Light Correcting Primer in Dim Light. I still have like quite a few uses out of that. Concealer, I finally used up my Urban Decay Naked Skin, so I'm busting out the Bare Minerals um, concealer, and then also my Sephora Future Gel Corrector. For blush this week, if I do decide to wear a blush, I'm going to pick one from my Benefit Quad here. Bronzer, I'm gonna stick to a cream bronzer, this um, Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronze Universal, which I, again, desperately wanna use up, almost done. For eyeshadow, if I do decide to wear eyeshadow, which I'm not really sure if I will, but I'm gonna use the Pale Barley or the Burberry eye color in almond. For highlighter, I'm going to use the NARS palette here. Mascara is going to be the Maybelline Big Shot, which I actually really like this. And then for setting powder, I'm going to use the Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is my outfit for today. I feel like we can start doing outfits in here because it's actually sunny in here in the fall and winter season. It's super dark in here because I leave for work a bit early and it's normally not sunny out, but that's what I'm wearing, pretty simple. Um, I have a couple meetings today, so I went with um, just like an Oxford shirt and black pants, and then I'm just also wearing black shoes. I am heading home now and I, it's Monday and I had a pretty rough day today. I My allergies are acting up. I think it's just the season and now that it's getting a bit drier and it's windy, the pollen is kicking up and I don't know. On the weekend, I spend a majority of my time sneezing. At one point, I was inside and the window was open because we were getting, letting fresh air in and I was just non-stop sneezing for probably half an hour. <laughs> so I had to wash everything because everything had pollen contamination. Sorry, I gotta put on a baseball hat. So. <laughs> I love my moonroof, okay? I love it. I love that my car has a moonroof, but on days like this, or as we move on to the summer, when the sun is like right above the car, I don't like the sun exposure on my skin, mainly because I got a lot of stuff going on here in terms of skincare. And although I do wear SPF, I don't necessarily reapply throughout the day, uh, so I need, you know, my face protection. And although this is like a UV protected window, don't trust it. So I like to go old school and wear a baseball cap. Plus I have second day hair going on today. So my hair is disgusting to begin with. <laughs> so I might as well put a hat over it. Good morning, I am heading to work now. I am not wearing a lot of makeup today. <laughs> to show you the situation I have in my console. So I have a vase of my tulips from my garden because I'm gonna bring them to my mom later. And I didn't want it to spill because it's a half vase full of water. So I just stuck it in my little cup holder and it kind of fits. Hopefully it stays like this. 
can't remember if I vlogged at all yet today, but I'm heading home. It is extremely warm out. My car says it's 31 degrees outside and I'm not gonna complain, although it might be a little too warm for me. <laughs> that loud whooshy noise, the AC working really hard today. Um, but I'm heading home. I'm heading home a little bit later than usual because I had to finish something up before I left. That's all I got for you today. Um, did I do an outfit today? I'll do one when I get home. I'm wearing that dress that I picked up from Dex um, at the bank. This is what I wore today. Like I said, it's the dress from Dex that I picked up at the bay, and I actually quite like it. Um, it's a very easy dress to wear. I just wore it with these sandals because it's incredibly warm today. I will say though that because this is, as you can see, it's buttoned at the front, and the buttons end right about here, so there's like half a foot of um, open fabric here. When you're sitting, it is not the most conservative dress, let's say that. So totally fine for me because I sit in an enclosed desk so no one can see my legs. And I'm also wearing these jockey uh, microfiber slip shorts. They are so nice. I have a few of them in different colorways because they actually come in different shades of nude and also different colors like navy and black. I'll show you kind of what the bottom looks like, but they're almost like a Spanx, but they're not um, shapewear. I got it from The Bay. They're $22 regular price, but often they go on sale for like $16. So I would definitely recommend them. They're so comfortable. I also love wearing these under pencil skirts um, because I find that it helps uh, hide. Like if you tuck your shirts into your skirt, I find that it does a really good job at hiding that. Not perfect, but better than nothing. I'm going to head outside because I'm going to cut my tulips. So I'll show you guys my beautiful tulips and um, tulips, as you guys know, don't last very long, so I would rather enjoy them inside than outside. So I'm going to cut a whole bunch of them and put them in some vases. I'm actually going to give some to my mum. I gave her a couple earlier this week, and I also gave a few to the Bose mom, and now I'm just gonna gather some up for myself. This is how my garden looks right now. You guys might remember it from last year because I planted it pretty much around the same time last year. So these are all of my tulips. They're actually supposed to be white and this like purple color, but for whatever reason, these are all yellow. I don't know if they start off yellow and then fade into a white. So I, as you can see, I've already cut off a bunch, like these ones here. Tulips are um, perennial, so they come back every single year. Um, so I'm just going to make my way through these ones. Look how beautiful they look. So this is for my mom, and this is what I'm gonna put in our living room. Outfit is very boring today. Um, I am also wearing second day hair today because I'm going to work a bit early, and I didn't go to the gym this morning. So normally when I go to the gym in the mornings, I wash my hair, but today I didn't, so I just took a shower without washing my hair. Um, but yeah, I'm just wearing this Oxford shirt, pencil skirt, and then these navy heels. I freaking love these shoes. These shoes are way better than um, some of the designer shoes that I've tried um, that entails Jimmy Choo, Manolo's, and Christian Louboutins, and these are from Calvin Klein. I really like them. Good morning and happy Friday. I am so excited for the long weekend. This week has been quite busy for me. I'm just letting my hair air dry. That's kind of what I've been doing. My hair's been looking kind of like a messy mess all week, but I don't really want to use hair dryer on my hair. I feel like I got a lot of split ends. I need a trim or something. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. Um, I actually don't have my shoes on yet, but here we go. This is what I'm wearing. Um, it is Friday, so it's casual Friday, although at work we still have really strict rules. You can't wear jeans. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. Uh, chambray top, navy pants, and then I'm going to wear some navy heels. I'm just currently wearing my Ugg slippers right now. It's actually quite cool today. Yesterday and the day before, it was in the mid or high 20s. Felt even like 30 on one of the days, but now it is back down to low double digits. I think it's like only gonna be 15 today, which is kind of chilly and it's a bit damp. I'm heading home now. I'm leaving work a little bit early because it's a long weekend. Um, I'm heading. I was, I wanted to return something at the bay, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. Um, the boy and I are having dinner with his mom tonight, so I might just do it afterwards. I am also contemplating a haircut. So I don't know about you guys, but I go through these phases where I just want something new, and I want, in this scenario, I want a full fringe. If you've been on my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I kind of alternate between the no fringe and the fringe look, and I'm feeling it. I feel 
like getting a fringe this weekend. I'm gonna sleep on it, but I'm really considering it. Having bangs is just so high maintenance though. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick grocery run because the bone I yesterday went to the LCBO and we got the fixings to make a sangria because I love the sangria from the keg. If you ever had it, you know what I'm talking about. It's very good. So they have not a recipe, but they have what the ingredients on their menu. So I looked up the ingredients that they put in their sangria and I'm going to try to replicate it. I have no idea what, to, what proportions um, go into this of the ingredients, but We'll try it out. Anyway, so I need to go to the grocery store. I'm not going to bring you guys in there with me because I'm literally only bringing my card and my phone and a bag and I don't have anywhere to put you guys and it just seems like an awful lot of work just to show you guys the peach juice that I'm getting. So I shall be back. I'm home now and I'll show you quickly what I picked up from the grocery store. So let me tell you what is in the white sangria recipe at the keg. So it's white wine. Peach schnapps, Grand Marnier, peach juice, mint, green apples, peach slices, Summersby, apple cider float. So I got the white wine. We picked up the yellowtail Moscato. If you guys remember, I picked up that wine maybe last year, last summer, because it came with free nail polish. I think it was a nails ink polish. <laughs> so I picked up two so that I could get the two different colors that they had available. And I, I like the Moscato wine, it's very sweet, which is why it'd be perfect in a sangria. So I did get the peach schnapps. I don't remember which brand we got, but who knew there was so many different brands of peach schnapps. I don't even really know what a peach schnapp is. I think it's a liqueur. I got some peach juice and again, had no idea what aisle to go in for peach juice. That's something I never had the inkling to pick up, but I also got some avocados because I love avocados. So I got the Del Monte peach um, nectar. So hopefully this is what I need. I actually have no idea. I did not get a mint, but I'm pretty sure mint they just use as kind of like a garnish. So I didn't bother. Um, green apples I did pick up. So I just got some of these ones. I just got two. And then I also got peach slices and they didn't have peaches in the store. So I just got a can of peach slices and I just got a no name brand. I was gonna get the Del Monte, but then I thought, why spend an extra dollar fifty? And that's it. So good morning and happy weekend. It's a long weekend, which is exciting. I'm spending the day Saturday with my mom today. She wanted to go do some shopping, so I thought I would tag along and I don't actually need anything. I say that now, but I'll probably come home with a bunch of things, but I'm not um, going shopping with a purpose. Anyway, I took a shower. I am still debating that haircut. I'm not sure whether or not I should get bangs. It's really, really weighing on me. First world problems, you know. Hello, my mom and I are at Yorkdale. This is probably our favorite mall. I'm excited because I want to go to Uniqlo to pick up, well, whatever, see whatever, they have. I haven't been to Uniqlo in a while. Currently at the bay, I had to return something, and now we're in the shoe department. Well, I'm actually looking at hats, but soon to be looking at shoes. At Uniqlo now, and so far I've found two chemicals that I really like. I'm home now, and I did a bit of shopping, as you can see, but I'm just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon with my mom and just hang out. My mom has left and I am just tidying up and putting some of the things that I purchased today away slash trying them on. This is one of the sweaters I picked up at Uniqlo. Uh, it was only $12.90. I am fully intending on filming a couple of videos today, if not tomorrow. Since I have an extra day, I just wanted to like pump out some videos that I promised you guys I would do. Just haven't gotten to it. We have moved into, we have moved into the beauty closet because this is the room with kind of the best natural lighting, I guess. So I was in Nordstrom and I was looking at some Lalabo fragrances or sniffing some Lalabo fragrances and I'm trying to decide whether I want to pick up um, a Lalabo fragrance or Byredo fragrance. They are both the same in the sense that they're expensive, but I'm just not sure on the scent that I'm going for yet. I'm still really loving my like Chanel number no. five low fragrance and the other fragrance that I got from Diptyque and also my Elizabeth and James White, Nirvana White. And I just don't know if I want to get a new fragrance. I'm kind of 
I'm hankering to get a new one, but at the same time, I don't know what I would get. Anyway, so I was at the Lalabo counter and one of the associates that was like working around in the area, so she wasn't the lady at the Lalabo counter, but she was like in the area. Her skin just looked really nice. So I went up to her and I said, your skin looks really great. Like, what are you doing? What are you using? And she said that she's actually wearing a cushion foundation from the face shop. So I was like, okay, yes, please. So I asked her what she was wearing and she said she was wearing, she couldn't remember which exact one it was, but she said it was the oil control one. So I went to the face shop. It is, you know, just a little half a block away from the Nordstrom and I picked it up. So there was actually only one that said oil control, which was awesome because I didn't have to like sift through 15 other things. And this, and the face shop was actually having a 20% off sale. So score, because this is I think regularly priced 29 bucks. So not too bad for a cushion foundation, but with 20% off it came to like 23 and change. The only downside about these is that they only come in so many shades. Um, so I picked up I think the darkest, if not the second darkest shade, and it is in number 205 and then the shade range is dark beige. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't really smell like anything, which I guess is a good thing. Um, so I'm excited to try this. Now while I was at the face shop, I also picked up this mild papaya peeling cleanser, exfoliator. I tried one other product from the face shop that does the same thing, but it was more of a kind of a cream gel consistency. So it came in a tube instead of a pump. So I figured I would try this one out because this I feel like resembles more the um, Cure Gel than the other one. They also gave me this free uh, makeup blender. So it's basically like a beauty blender dupe almost, except it um, has a bit of a different shape. This has more of the same um, texture and sponginess as the Real Techniques. But anyway, I'll let you know how I like this after I actually use it. Okay, we are going to try to make our sangria now. Uh, there is no clear recipe and like I said the uh, menu at the keg doesn't actually show you what proportions of what to put in it just tells you what is in there so we're gonna wing it and hopefully it turns out okay I don't know how they taste yet but they look pretty good there wasn't enough room for everything in one pitcher so I used the entire 750 milliliter bottle of wine I used about two or one and a half cups of the peach juice and I did a fourth of a cup of the peach schnapps and then I did half a can each of the peach slices and then half an apple each and what else did I, oh, I added a cup of orange juice and the Summer's Beast apple cider or pear cider. I don't remember which one now, but they look pretty good. Okay, drinking my sangria and I gotta say it tastes pretty good. I'm gonna put my recipe down below so in case you want to replicate it, you can see how I made mine. I was literally kind of just eyeballing everything instead of using like shot, um, shot glasses, I used measuring cups. So. Turned out pretty good though, so I will link that below or just put my recipe down below in case you want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> 